Welcome to Kids Club Online from Spring Hill Baptist Church. I'm Miss Penny. I was just talking to my friend Topher, and we both hope that you can stick around and see what you can learn today. What time is it? It's open time! What time is it? Oh, well, hello there, my little friends. It's me, Timmy Bowties. Look what I've got. It's a special sound box. When I open the box, a sound comes out. Do you want to give it a try? Yes! Okay, listen carefully. Do you know what that was? It was a roller coaster. Oh, hey, look who it is. It's Tippy the Mouse. Squeak, 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 squeak. Oh, I'm so sorry, Tippy. Tippy said she's sad because she wants to ride a roller coaster, but her mom says she's too little. Well, you know what, Tippy? Maybe you can play with us instead. Hey, Maisie's flag just went up. Do you know what that means? Maisie has a message. That's right. Let's see what it is. Thanks, Maisie. Whoa. Listen to this. God always keeps his promises. That's our big idea for today. Can you say that with me? God always keeps his promises. Oh, hey, I just thought of something. Let's go tell our big idea to Topher the Gopher. Come on, Tippy. Come on, kids. Well, well, well. That silly little gopher is sleeping again. On the count of three, let's all say, Topher the gopher, wake up, wake up. Ready? One, two, three. Topher the gopher, wake up, wake up. Hey, what's the big idea? Let's say the big idea together. God always keeps his promises. Oh, wow, that is a big idea. Hi, Tippy. I'm surprised to see you. I thought you were going to the amusement park today. Well, she wanted to, but her mom told her she was too little to ride the roller coasters. She was pretty sad about it. I know how it feels, Tippy. Everybody is always telling me I'm too little to do stuff. Well, that's true. There are a lot of things little kids can't do. But I know something that you're never too little to do. Really? What is it? You're never too little to read the Bible. In fact, I have a true Bible story we can read right now. Oh, yay! What's it about? Well, believe it or not, it's about somebody who was too old to do something. Too old? But I thought old people could do everything. They can do a lot of things, but not everything. Let's go read the Bible story and find out what it is. Can we use that sound box again? Of course we can. When I open the box, a sound will come out. You and the kids can tell me what the sound is. Then we can use it to help tell the Bible story. Yippee, yippee! Let's go, Tippy! Come on, kids. We'll meet Tippy and Topher inside. Let's go. Come on, everybody. It's time to learn and play. Let's all go to Topher's house today. 
Hey, Topher, you made it. Now, where did I put my Bible? In the Bible box. Oh, yeah, that's right. I always keep my Bible in the super duper Bible box. To open the box, we have to say, it's true. It's true. The Bible is true. Let's say that together. It's, it true. True. it's, it's true. true. It's true. The, the Bible, Bible is true. true. Great job. In the Bible, in the book of Genesis, there were two special people named Abraham and Sarah who loved God very much. But there was something that made Sarah and Abraham sad. They wanted to have a baby, but Abraham was 100 years old and Sarah was 90 years old. They were like grandmas and grandpas. They were way too old to have a baby. But then one day, something strange happened. Maybe our sound box can help us figure out what it is. Listen carefully. Somebody's knocking on the door. You're right. It's the sound of someone knocking. One day, three strange visitors came to Abraham and Sarah's house. All three visitors looked like men, but they weren't. Two of the visitors were angels, and one of them was God. Abraham knew these visitors were very special, so he hurried to make them feel welcome at his home. Let's open the sound box again and see if we can figure out what Abraham did. It's a cow! You got it! Abraham ran over to his herd of cows and picked out the best one. Then he took the cow to his servant so that it could be prepared for dinner. When the food was ready, Abraham gave it to the three visitors so they could eat. While the three visitors were eating, God said to Abraham, I will come back in one year. By that time, your wife Sarah will have a baby son. Let's open the sound box again. <laughs> it's somebody <laughs> laughing. Nice job. Sarah overheard what God told Abraham, and it made her laugh. She thought to herself, I'm way too old, and I'm all worn out. Could I possibly have a baby at this old age? God heard Sarah laughing and he said to Abraham, Why did Sarah laugh? Does she think I can't give her a baby? Is anything too hard for me to do? I promise you this, when I return in one year, Sarah will have a son. Let's open the sound box again. It's a baby crying. That's right. God was kind to Sarah, and a year later, Sarah gave birth to a baby son, just like God had promised. Abraham named his baby son Isaac. Sarah said, God has given me laughter, and everyone who hears about this will laugh with me. Let's open the sound box one more time and see what's inside. It's music! That's right! It's the happy dance music! Hey kids, stay seated, but let's do a happy dance together. Can you move like this? And stop! Abraham and Sarah were so happy that God always keeps his promises. And that 
is today's true Bible story. It's true! It's true! The Bible is true! God gave it to me and he gave it to you. Doodly doodly doo. It says he gave his son to everyone. Doodly doodly doo. It's true! It's true! The Bible is true! Isn't that amazing? God promised to give Abraham and Sarah a baby, even though they were too old to have one. Even though it was impossible, did God keep his promise? Yes! God gave them a baby boy named Isaac. You got it! Swing, swing, swing. You're right, Tippy. God always keeps his promises. That's right! If God says he's gonna do it, he always does it. Tofa! Timmy! It's snack time! If you come to the kitchen, you can have a popsicle. A Bible story and popsicles? This is the best day ever. Swing, swing, swing. I agree, Tippy. This is better than riding a roller coaster. Oh, hey kids, while Tippy and Topher eat their popsicles, I want you to answer a question. How do you feel when someone keeps their promise to you? Press pause. And discuss. See you later, kids. It's always a good time to learn about God. It's extra time with Topher. Hello, my name is Topher the Gopher, and I'm your furry friend. Let's learn a Bible verse together. Listen and remember, we'll say it all together. Bible memory, Bible memory, Bible memory time. Hi, kids. It's me, Camille. I'm so happy to see you. Today, we're learning that God always keeps his promises. In fact, that's what today's Bible verse tells us. Let me teach it to you. The Lord is faithful and will keep all of his promises. Psalm 145, 13. Now, let's do that together. The Lord is faithful and will keep all of his promises. Psalm 145, 13. Great job! Let's try it one more time. The Lord is faithful and will keep all of his promises. Psalm 145, 13. Remember kids, when you plant God's word in your heart, great things grow from it. See you next time. Bye. Well, hello there boys and girls. It's me again, Timmy Bowties. In our story for today, God promised to give Abraham and Sarah a baby son. When Sarah heard what God said, she laughed. Yeah, Sarah and Abraham were way too old to have a baby. You're right. Sarah thought it was impossible to have a baby. But nothing is impossible for God. Um, Topher, why is your mouth all green? Oh, Tippy and I just finished our popsicles. I had a green one. Do you want a popsicle too, Timmy? Actually, yeah, but I'm not gonna eat it. What? Why would you want a popsicle if you're not going to eat it? Well, maybe they'll give me some ideas for hard things God can do. Let's get one and I'll show you what I mean. Okay, maybe Tippy can help us. Hey, Tippy. Can you get Timmy a popsicle? 
Thanks, Tiffy. That popsicle is green, just like a frog. Hey, that reminds me of something. Do you think God can make it rain frogs out of the sky? Yes! God can do anything. That's right. Hey, Tippy, can you get me another popsicle? That popsicle is blue, just like water. Hey, that reminds me of something else. Do you think God can walk on top of water? Yes! God can do anything. That's right. Hey, Tippy, can you give me a third popsicle? That popsicle is orange, just like fire. Hey, you know, that reminds me of something else. Do you think God could talk to someone through a burning bush? Yes! God can do anything. That's right. Nothing is impossible for God. God promised to give Abraham and Sarah a baby son. And even though it seemed impossible to do, God did it. That's because God always keeps his promises. Hey, that's our big idea for today. You're right. God always keeps his promises. In fact, on the count of three, let's say that together. Are you ready? One, two, three. God always keeps his promises. Wow, that is a big idea. Thanks for telling me. Goodbye, kids. Bye, Topher. Hey, before I go, Let's say a prayer together and thank God for always keeping his promises. Did you know that Jesus loves you? He really, really does. You can always say a prayer to him if you're sad or just because. He's never gonna stop ever loving you. You can always count on Jesus, it's true. Now fold your hands, close your eyes, and repeat after me. Dear God, thank you for always keeping your promises. Even when it's hard, Nothing is impossible for you. We love you so much, God. Amen. Well, kids, once again, it's time for me to go. Come back next time so we can play again. Until then, remember, Jesus loves you. Jesus loves me. Jesus loves you. Jesus loves me. Hot dog! Hot dog!
Oh, I see the light, I see it 